Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So hopefully you all checked out the uh, another Eden Global live stream. I believe it was simultaneous with Japan. However, I only watched the English version as I only understand English. So um, make sure you check that out on the, on the official another Eden Global channel um, that just dropped a few hours ago. And of course, for me. Uh, it, on the west coast in Canada, uh, I just woke up, so uh, missed the actual live stream. But um, there's a lot of information in there. Most importantly, we do have a new update, I believe, as of tomorrow evening. Um, so uh, in this case, for me, about mm, 36 hours from now or so, Blooming Blade Akane, which is also known as Alter Akane. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. All right. So I will cover um, the other information in terms of the uh, live stream in a separate video. Uh, once the update itself gets closer, there is a spoiler alert that the uh, uh, Wars or the Rise Saga will be dropping later on this week as part of the, uh, um, I guess, simultaneous release and that'll be exciting because of course without um, any help from Japan we'll have to have our own team of global players um, venturing out there beating super bosses finding all the cool things out there all right alter Akane how is she different from her regular style so remember that alters um, they have different things happen to them in the alternate timeline and so, and so of course they either have a different element different weapon type different personality or so on and so forth in this case, she is still an Ito Ryu, um, you know, disciple. However, instead of being a fire katana user, she looks to be more of an earth katana user. By VCing in, and she also has a move, she can now set earth zone, which is an, a very welcome addition to uh, the likes of, say, Alter Miumfa and Alter Shannon. Uh, they can also set with a move from what I understand. Now, that being said, um, Akane, just like her... Um, original AS form is quite a selfish unit. Uh, most of the buffs are to herself. She can give herself, for example, max MP up, crit damage up, um, you know, uh, heal herself, uh, and she can now help by supporting her units a little bit by giving um, shielding in terms of physical res um, to her own team, but it's only 35%, it's not even 50, so I'm um, not really sure if it's um, ultra powerful in that sense. It does give a power into speed debuff to the enemies, also 35% with that move. Again, being that we really are used to or require a 50-50 down and up, not as um, critical as uh, what we would like to see in before. Now the other interesting thing is, um, she can apply slash resistance down up to 100%, so that's a nice addition to any Earth slash teams. And finally, um, she stacks certain, I guess I get they're called courage stacks, but you know, whatever those red orbs are. She gets start battle with three of them, and at the um, turn end, they remove it all, followed by, at the start of turn, restacking it depending on the number of Katana or Ito Ryu characters on the front line. So obviously you have to build a team of all Katana or Ito Ryu. Now being that Earth is a unique um, to the Ito Ryu family, mostly uh, because Shigeru is water, um, normal Akane of course is from fire, and Xion's like fire as well. It'll be a little bit interesting to get some synergy. I mean it'll work for Slash but not so much for Earth. Um, I think Aldo actually is Ito Ryu as well, at least honorary member. So that might help, but either way, you need at least three of those to get three stacks in. And based on that, it will power up her uh, signature move, which basically will be an outside AF specialist. Does double the attacks if you have the three stacks, so it'll be a pretty strong attack and then followed by another attack. And it ignores target defense. So that should do a lot more than the damage modifier um, indicates. It also does stack uh, Earth type attack of Akane herself up to 50% up to 100%. So um, pretty good in that sense. Has a little bit of conditions, um, you know, and synergy with other Earth slash is hard to say depending on the qualifiers of stacking. Now remember, she is a Stellar Awakened unit like all units are. And so what do you get for Stellar Awakened? If you have a Stellar Awakened move, 
Now you can, her stellar burst move will do Earth slash AOE XXL, of course, stack elemental break Earth. Um, if you have those three stacks up, it will do her normal move. Earth type down 100, uh, massive extra damage, redeploy Earth stance and awaken zone. Now, interesting thing is, unlike other stellar burst moves, doesn't look like it shatters or um, breaks zone. So, um, based on the wiki at least I see. So, if it does not break zone, I think that's a huge loss. However, who knows if uh, in real life it actually does. Being that nowadays, the information is so um, you know up to date that we might have to adjust things here and there. So keep that in mind that um, as of this video, I may not have the correct information. If it does break down, that would be actually a very nice move. Oh, by the way, Kaleidos everyone to Earth. Now, the other interesting thing about her, and remember, this is a trend, trend we now see with uh, most physical users. The more powerful ones will now be able to stack, <coughs> excuse me, Singular Focus. Now, remember, Singular Focus is one of those um, abilities that are essential for physical users to do massive amounts of damage based on their max MP, very similar to magic users. Of course, this is locked behind the SA, and so, um, you know, if you get her non-SA'd or you side grade her, you will lose uh, the benefits of the Singular Focus. Keep in mind that in the future, I'm sure that there will eventually be team-wide buffs that will apply Singular Focus to everybody, just kind of like um, mental focus before in the very early stages was just to one unit, but then you see units like AS Chio or, or all Magic Zone setters essentially giving um, mental focus to everyone. So um, that's not necessarily as bad uh, 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 deficiency as normal. However, at does this moment obviously caps her abilities there. So there's that. Of course, this now has to be updated to the same version. I believe we are on 1.5. So, um, you know, it is a banner. It will update um, in-game app. There are pickup bonuses if you're willing to pay or use free stones. And again, being that this is an altar, you either hit the 5 or you hit nothing. Um, we are already used to that with the AS and ES Dilly and Alma respectively. <coughs> Excuse me, warning voice after all. And of course, more faithfuls here and there. I'll we'll cover those more in our, um, you know, should you summon video tomorrow. And finally, uh, as usual with altars, you do get to see the first quest for free as a teaser. You do get 10 stones for that. Me personally, I don't even bother with uh, doing those quests uh, until I get the unit. And even afterwards, by the time I get the units many months down the road, um, I kind of forget about it sometimes. So um, bear that in mind that you can get the 10 stones as a teaser. All right, so that's pretty much there, all that's happening tomorrow. But like I said, um, I'll eventually release another video uh, talking about the live stream, probably my farming results, which I haven't done for a couple months, and um, share my thoughts as to what's going on there. Anyways, again, today is day six um, of the free temples. Hopefully your luck is better than mine, and I'll try doing that sometime later on today. Maybe the morning time isn't the best for me to be summoning, so I'll change up the uh, timing and maybe have it um, you know, later on. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.